Okay, we are back. Of course, Will Who, Anak Das. There is an announcement. I don't know what it is. What is this announcement? Tell me and tell the people watching at home. So I know everybody is, um, you know, sad that the season of Super League has ended. Yeah. And uh, what a shame it would be if we couldn't come back to some more content, uh, you know, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, so I'd like to announce, uh, this is the first time we're announcing, this is an Alpha Frog Invitational that's coming up. Uh, we got to watch a brilliant season of Modern Now. The Invitational is actually going to be everyone's favorite vintage cube format. Uh, Alpha Frog's cube um, is is amazing, and we're going to have some pretty um, like high-tier players just vintage cubing it out. So we're going to try to change the game, how cube is shown to you. We've got a lot of big plans here. Uh, just, just to give you a brief idea of who we're expecting in the first week, we're going to have Luis Scott Vargas. We're going to have Corey Baumeister. We're going to have Luis Salvato, uh, Kyle Rose, a.k.a. The Ham, uh, Ely Cassis, John DePraz, our world champion, Canister is going to be back, even Reed Duke. So this is good. To, like, this is literally, like, if I could not make a, a, a more terrifying, money. yeah, vintage cube pot of death, right? So, like, this is pretty sweet. We got, um, I think I believe we have eight weeks of just vintage cube content coming to you. We're going to be working together with Daybreak Games to bring you the best show possible. I, for one, am super excited because, I mean, who doesn't love watching draft, right? Like, vintage cube is the best of the yeah. best. So, you know, stay tuned for uh, more details coming, and uh, I'm very excited. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even a, like a big drafter myself, but Vintage Cube, I think everybody just gets drawn to it, right? You love to do these super powerful things, draft these big broken decks, and we're going to see it in the hands of the world's best players. Literally, how many world champions did you name them? That's going to be disgusting. I'm really, really looking forward to that. But, so, you know, we've got, we've, got, we've got to start closing down this show, unfortunately. This is the modern Super League. We now have crowned ourselves a champion, but I've got a couple of questions for you, Anu. Yeah. I want to know, what was your favorite deck of the whole Super League? What was sticks out in your mind? Are you really going to make me say this out loud? The week, I'm going to make you say week, out loud. The week that Carvin came with a blue-white deck, I was just like, I was like, mm, mm. that's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe you're biased. I thought maybe. you were going to go with the, uh, my, mine was the Reed t uh, Beanstalk, where it's oh, just a uh, time walk. I, I think easy, that was the right one. I was place. like, that's yeah. pretty, saying that Spike's deck last week, of just casting Ember Calls, that was pretty cool as well. Um, okay, what was your favorite matchup that we had over the six over the last twelve weeks? Yeah, it was obviously the finals, like a hundred percent watching oh, Corey like eke out every. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I, if I, <laughs> if I, I thought you were actually going to go with that, I was like, oh, I have one. <laughs> uh, I, I actually can't tell. There were so many very exciting matches. I mean, honestly, watching. Have you Nathan? <laughs> 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 that's funny because of the trash talk um that watching spike one. spike put like 20 amulet of vigor stacks on or, or yeah. uh on the stack or whatever right that was that was just kind of crazy i'd never seen i didn't know you could even do that honestly so that was that was kind of a riveting moment for me uh but honestly a lot of the matches were just fantastic i mean what what, what else to expect from all the the caliber of exactly. players that we had yeah. you, you pick them in one place you know magic is literally going to happen and exactly. then last little bit before we start close down i wonder what was the favorite moment of the season <sighs> Favorite, favorite moment. Uh, honestly, I... Why doesn't it involve Volta Vigor? That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's Volta Vigor. Oh, We're yeah, that, that was a really good one, too. I, I think I was really happy to just see, like, all the, the players kind of come together. You know, I think maybe, like, like one, of the, one of the cool moments was literally when Javier, like our angel, did a little bit of trash talking. You know, he scripted it out, working yeah, it yeah. out. You know, those kind of things. Like, just the moments where we got to see all the players, their personalities come live. Um, I think that's what makes the Super League super magical. And uh, I, I, I am super grateful to everybody who turned out and uh, enjoyed watching, yeah. Exactly. Okay, right. We're going to go into our sponsors. After sponsors, we'll be announcing the last two winners of our giveaway, getting us up all access passes. So we're going to fly through this as quick as we can. Let's go. Start off. Who is our first sponsor? Winner? Thank you to Daybreak Games for sponsoring this season of Super League, the all access pass that we have been giving out all day today. Um, this is your way to get basically unlimited access or almost unlimited access to, to all of Magic Online. You get to play with the new set, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. You get to try out all of your favorite brews that you've been itching, whether it's in Pioneer, Modern, Vintage, Legacy. Uh, this is fantastic. It's available till November 27th. So be sure to type the word finals in the chat to be eligible to win our last giveaway of the season. And then also check out uh, the All Access Pass otherwise on the store. Yeah, it is amazing. So thank you to them. Our next sponsor is none other than the NRG series. Norman and the team put on amazing events streamed on their channel, as well as, as you can see here, 
ten thousand dollars playing more than five thousand for playing pioneer if you want to turn up to him in person the next one is going to be madison november 25th 26th just after thanksgiving and they also have an online store so if you need to pick up any cards for the decks maybe you've seen tonight in the super league or throughout the whole super league season that is the place to pick them up get them delivered to your door to pick them up on site whichever is easier for you thank you one last time to the nrg series you've been an amazing amazing sponsor next to me yeah, we have Apex Gaming. So this weekend, it all comes down to 2023's Apex Invitational. That's on Sunday, November 19th. You can see on the screen here that if you're not qualified for this event, you can go to Caldwell, Ohio and attend the LCQs. I know I know, Will is on uh, his yeah. journey to the to Mount Doom to get his LCQ invite. You can be there too. Say hi to Will. Give him a high five from me and a hug with love. Uh, yeah, apexgaming.gg. Go check him out. And our next sponsor is none other than SpiceRack.gg, the biggest database of magic events on the internet. It has everything from pre-releases to your local unsanctioned events, your RCQs to your NRG series, all in one easy place to find. They also have this sweet merch you see on the screen. I believe that no change is going to be sold out in no time. Now we've just had a, a evoke mirror in the finals. But if you want to get some of this sweet merch, use code SuperLeague to get yourself 10% off. Huge, huge thank you to Super, uh, wrong to Spice Rack sponsoring the Super League. Next to new. Our second to last sponsorship goes out to the Dive Down. Uh, so this podcast, it's coming out tomorrow, Thursday. That's when it comes out. Uh, Modern and Pioneer, if you're looking for deck strategy analysis, trends, anything like that, the folks over at the Dive Down, they've been doing great work on this since 2018. They've got all the sorts of metagame analyses that you're looking for. So go ahead and check them out at thedivedown.com or on Thursdays, wherever you get your podcast. And then lastly is, of course, our Patreon, the Super League Patreon. It enables us to put on more awesome events like this. We've got an Alpha Frog going on next. So if you want to see more stuff on these channels, this is a great way to support that. Not just watching, but also if you've got a little bit extra to give, this is the way to do it. So thank you to all our Patreon supporters that have supported us this far in the Super League. But on that one, that is the end of our sponsors which means we need to do a giveaway anew one last time pick me two winners one in the magic online channel one in your channel two people are walking away with all access passes the news picked them right now everybody get your rigs in the chat if you didn't win and congratulations to both those winners uh reach out to anorag on twitter or twitch he will get those prizes to you and on that one anew we don't need to talk about future schedules because we don't have a future schedule left of the super league but what, give us one last shout. Where can they find it? Maybe they need to catch up. Maybe they want to watch all 12 weeks back to back. Now it's over. Some people like to binge watch series. Maybe they want to do it at the Super League. Where can they watch uh, watch it? It's going to be youtube.com slash at official magic online. Also, be sure to check out Magic Online's Twitter. That's just at Magic Online for more updates on the Alpha Frog Invitational details on when it's going to be coming out. Uh, stay tuned there. Uh, there's going to be some pretty sweet content. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. This is a fantastic season. Uh, honestly, it's been a, a dream to take part in. So we need to say thank you to everybody. Uh, starting off with the players, 16 amazing players. Not only gave their time and their effort, but they gave their heart and soul into this. They really tried so hard to put on an entertaining show for you all. So thank you very much to all 16 players. You're all absolutely amazing and an absolute dream to work with. We need to thank Jordan, who really is the master behind this all. He puts it all together, does all the slides, changes up everything, listens to me and Anu, puts us back in our place when we try to step out of it. He does everything we need. He's such an awesome key piece this and needs all the uh, uh, affection that we can show him. So let's get some emotes in chat. It shows appreciation going on there. Next up is, I need to give one last shout out to all of our sponsors, okay? All our sponsors stuck with us from the beginning when it wasn't even a show. They kind of seen the line, they seen what how we pitched it and how we what our vision was, and they see it throughout, and they're you know super proud that they managed to actually put their trust in us, and hopefully we've repaid us. So thank you one last time to our sponsors. And then chat you for being here, being awesome, interacting with us, taking part in it, giving us banter back and forth. It's been amazing for the last 12 weeks. I cannot say enough thank you to you all. You've made my news dream absolutely possible. So thank you. A new final last words. It's been great. Will, you've been great. We've been great. Chat's been great. Magic is great. We'll see you all next time. Great. Good night.